Hey, I know it's been a couple of days since I've posted a new video, but today we are making banana nut bread and it is so good and I can't wait. It's gonna taste so amazing with the homemade butter that I'm gonna make to go with it. All right, let's get started here. In my mixing bowl, I have one half cup of butter or one stick of butter. We're gonna add three fourths of a cup of white sugar. And then we're gonna turn this on and we're gonna beat it until it gets fluffy. Ah, uh, and your butter should be softened. All right, while that's doing that, I'm gonna come over here and we are going to mix our dry ingredients. Okay, our butter is going and we are going to start with one and a half cups of flour. You're gonna do one fourth teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and one half teaspoon of cinnamon. We're just gonna pour those in there. Get a little whisk, kind of mix it up just a little bit. It didn't have to be perfect. Just kind of mix it. And then we're gonna go right back over here to our butter sugar mixture because it looks like it's pretty fluffy. All right, we are pretty fluffy. If you can see down in there, that butter is, it's nice and fluffy and, and kind of, I don't know, just like almost kind of cloud-like. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add one, it's gonna be two eggs, one at a time, beating after each addition. So we're gonna add one. And then we're gonna beat that and make it incorporated really good on about medium high speed. And our um, oven is preheated to 350 degrees. Okay. Just a little bit more. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape my little thingy here just to get those big clumps off. I like using this paddle with the um, little rubber spatula thingy on the side because it seems to really make sure you get down in the bottom of your mixer and, and all of that. So it doesn't have to be perfect. We don't have to scrape it again here in a minute anyway. Go ahead and scrape down my sides. Second egg. Okay, we're gonna add that in there, beat that really good together. Turn it up on medium high speed. So I've already um, mashed my uh, bananas. You're gonna need about two cups of bananas mashed and I take mine and I put them in my food processor and I blend them up really good. All right, now then, here we are going to add our um, vanilla and our um, uh, bananas, sorry. My mom wanted to go blank on me. So here's our two cups of bananas. Just pour them right on in. And that is about three and a half to four bananas, depending upon what, uh, how big your bananas are. And these were about your average, medium, large bananas. Get 
getting all that gooey goodness in there. We'll put this at the sink. All right. And then our vanilla. It is one teaspoon of vanilla. And you know I like my homemade vanilla. I just told my husband I'm gonna have to get some more to make me some more paste. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. We're gonna mix that in. All right, that doesn't take much at all. So now then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our flour mixture and we're gonna dump it all in there at one time but the thing to remember with this is you don't want to um, over mix your batter, your dough. So you literally just mix it until it's all incorporated. Again, you know, I like to hold my sides to make sure I don't have all that flour flopping everywhere. Okay. All right, now that I'm gonna take this out, I'm gonna use my spatula. I'm gonna clean this off the best that I can. So you can see there's a little bit of flour mixed in there left, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my spatula and kind of stir it, because I don't want to overbeat my bread dough. Cleaning that off. So have y'all made any of these recipes? I know my my daughter calls me and she's like, Mom, I'm making some Alfredo. Mom, I'm making some pasta. Mom, I'm making some bread. I think she's made um, our homemade white bread. She's made that twice now and said that she's fixing to make another batch today. I'm, I'm proud of her. Because... I was the one growing up that literally, I burnt pans. I could not cook. I melted so many pans. All right. Kind of get that last little bit off there. Just kind of mix it in. Make sure you have nothing left on the bottom. Okay. The next thing that we're gonna add, whoop, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. The next thing that we're gonna add is um, about three fourths of a cup to a cup of chopped walnuts. You can use pecans if you would rather have pecans. So I just got my chopped walnuts there. And these you're gonna kind of fold in because you're not wanting to over mix. So we're just gonna kind of fold them in but we wanna get it all the way through. Okay. All right, that looks really good. Okay, I'm gonna meet you over here at the pan. All right, here we are. So all I'm gonna do is take my silicone pan. You know I love my silicone bread pans. I'm gonna spray the inside of it with just a little bit of cooking spray. Silicone cone shouldn't stick, but I always like to be double per double sure. Oh, a bit more flour up there. Let me just go ahead and bump that down. All right. So then we're gonna take our dough, and we are literally just going to pour it in. And again, we've got our oven preheated to 350 degrees. And once this goes in, it's gonna cook for a about 50 to 60 minutes. Um, maybe a little longer. It just kind of depends um, how your oven cooks. But normally it's about 50 to 
50 to 60 minutes. I think I've had it a couple of times take just a tiny bit longer, maybe. Maybe like an hour and 10 minutes, something. It just depends. You know, you can use the toothpick to uh, test it. And we're working on a budget, so we get all of our gooey goodness out of there. All right. So then I'm going to take this other little spatula, clean this off. Kind of spread it just a little bit. And you know I like to put a baking sheet underneath. When I made my impossible pie the other day, and the bottom of that baking sheet was nothing but butter. So, all right. So with all we're gonna do with this now is we are going to put it in the oven, we're gonna bake it, and then when it comes out, I'll meet you back. And while that's going, I'm just gonna whip up some whipping cream, heavy whipping cream, a little bit of salt, and make some homemade butter. So I'll see you back. I wanted to show you guys how easy it is to make this homemade butter. So that is some heavy whipping cream that I had left over. Uh, maybe half a cup, a little more, a little less, something. It's not much. And then this is a um, one pint. They didn't have any other, uh, the um, generic, which I normally buy. I just pour it in there. I just add a couple of good pinches of salt. It doesn't really take a lot. It just kind of depends on you. Um, I guess that was about three pinches, maybe a half a teaspoon or so of butter, or salt. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it on and you're just gonna start whisking. Okay, and you'll just let it do this. It'll take probably about 10, 15 minutes. So once that gets done, I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. We're back here with this uh, whipping cream. You can see it's getting thicker. And uh, pull it back up and kind of see. Not much more than this, and you would have your whipped cream for the top of your pies. And all you would do in there is you would add a little bit of sugar, a little bit of vanilla, keep whipping it, and there's your whipping cream. All right, we'll be back. All right, this is where we are for like a whipped cream. You can kind of see we're coming together really good. And it's um, almost there. This has been going for about seven minutes. Um, and we're almost there. Okay, I wanted to kind of give y'all an idea of what it looks like. We're getting almost there. It almost looks like the consistency of like scrambled eggs. So um, what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to scrape the sides a little bit. You can see at the bottom is some whey. And uh, I just come in here, I just go ahead and scrape my sides. I've done that a couple of times because you just want to make sure it all gets done in there. But you can see at the bottom there's some juice. That's that's just the way. And then um, we'll just keep going. We've been at it for about 15 minutes now. And, um, oh, it's going to be so good on that bread. All right, we're going to keep it going. I'll show you when we're done. All right, this was literally maybe two minutes after the last shot of what it looked like. You can see all the way down in there and then you can see your butter. So what we go from here is we take it, we drain it. You can keep the whey if you wanna use it for buttermilk or something. Um, but then you take it, you drain it, you squeeze it out, use some cheesecloth 
and you rinse it real good and then you put it in your fridge and you store it and it is so much better than regular store-bought butter all right i'll see you back here in just a little bit as soon as our bread gets done all right guys here it is fresh from the oven it looks so good i cannot wait to try it I'm going to cut us a little slice off here. Mm, oh, wish we had smell-o-vision. Oh, look at that. And some of our fresh butter we made. Smooth it right across there. Mmm. Mmm. Now, how can, <laughs> look, it's sticking, it is sticking. Now, how can you get any better than that? Mm, yummy. Thank you so much for coming and baking with me again today. We made this wonderful, awesome banana nut bread and some homemade butter. I hope y'all enjoy it. Let me know if y'all want to uh, see anything special. And remember, God knows all about you and loves you anyway. Bye.